so I had to put a pillow down here if you are new to the channel welcome welcome everybody to Tommy Bites Homestead I would love for you to subscribe to our channel turn on that post notification like the video leave me some comments down below let me know if you're planning on composting and if so how are you doing yours um, so this is the next step <laughs> into my composting um, you saw I raked the leaves over here and now I'm over here so I got these from a local coffee shop. So these are, you know, the filters and stuff. So it had um, receipts and all of that stuff in there. All you're gonna do is just take that stuff out, shake it off, cause that's not going in my pile. Just because of the ink that's used with, you know, dyes and chemicals. So I'll take that out and that just leaves you with other things you got to get as you can see you'll find it as you dig but this coffee is still warm the grounds are still warm this is how you're heating up your compost to get it to that temperature you need for the material to break down get up to at least 165 you don't want it to go too far over because you don't want to start a fire and I heard that I was like what so that's the bag papers in here I have another little bag here this is all that they had for me when I went this morning because he left a note for them that I was coming to get it and I guess somebody didn't see the note and they threw away a lot of these uh, coffee grounds like you're throwing away what I need but he said he would leave a bigger note <laughs> So they could see it and see how look this show this is this is your coffee and just do it like that so I'm about to um, put it into this bucket over here I have to go back today so I'm gonna go back every day he said um, at 5 and just load up on my coffee grounds until I can get as many as much as I need to start my compost with so what we're gonna do now so you can see what I was doing because I'm holding the camera and that's all you're gonna do you're gonna get your your browns your cardboard um, straw which I have in that bag black bag right there as your browns and sawdust if you can get it as long as it's not um, treated lumber and then your greens which would be like your grass clippings or you know like this coffee grounds are also a part of your greens and you're just gonna layer it water it because water is a key component moisture but not oversaturated and uh, air you need to aerate by tossing that's why people toss their compost I was always trying to figure out why are they tossing it but now I know because you want it to break down faster then you're going to use these coffee grounds you're going to use everything I said and you're going to wet it down and you're going to toss it and that introduces air into your compost pile. Just put some paper in there that I gotta get out. And that's all it is, y'all. I'm not gonna bore you with putting this coffee in here because I'm gonna get done with this and then I'm gonna go take me a nap and then I'll head back out to the coffee shop and pick up my second batch of coffee grounds and I'll be doing that every day so y'all if you enjoyed this video if you got anything from it even if you didn't please join the family I can't ask you enough to join my family 
um, leave me some comments down below. Make sure you like the video. Don't forget to do that because that helps the channel. And sharing me out also helps the channel. So go ahead and do that. And plus, sharing is caring. So I appreciate y'all. And with that, I'm gonna go back to my coffee ground routine because it's no way in the world I could drink that much coffee to get what I need to start a compost pile the way I want to. So y'all, stay blessed. Love y'all so much. Bye. So y'all, this is uh, the coffee grounds in here. I've already taken out of the bags and went through them as best I could. Um, it was a little bit of crumbs of cake in here. I just took that out and threw it aside. But this is the, the filters and receipts that I pulled out of it. So that little bit almost filled up well, maybe two thirds full of this bucket. So I'll probably get a couple more of these buckets from Lowe's or Home Depot and keep getting my ground coffee. And when I get to the top of this, that's when I'm actually going to start the compost. So I really need to go and get those um, pallets that I saw and get those set up and screwed in so that I can have a, a specific area that I'm going to do this in.